and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Scout Midrange. So the reason why we're playing this deck uh, today is because of Genevieve Elmhart getting upgraded to a 5-5. You may remember we just played this deck five days ago, um, so not that long ago, and it looked pretty good. And Genevieve, three cards were really impressive when we played it before. Genevieve Elmhart, um, Greenfang Warden, and Blinding Assault. I was really impressed with all three of those um, different scout cards. And uh, so I wanted to give this deck a try again now that uh, Genevieve Elmhart has been upgraded because it was a 4-4 before and it was really impressive as a 4-4. Now it's a 5-5, so it should be even better. We're basically all Demacia. This is a Bannerman deck. Could be called Bannerman Scout, to be honest. Um, you know, we're a Bannerman deck. We're trying to get... Uh, um, the allegiance trigger to work with bannerman every single time we only have the three misfortunes and i, I know we've been playing a lot of misfortune decks uh recently um but uh yeah um, but we're starting here with with the scout midrange today um and then then we'll have some some new decks we're gonna be trying uh brahm in, in a different fashion with ionia and see how that goes and then i'm gonna try a burn deck with captain farron going just like a mid-range version of burn with captain farron at the top end with that new card um and then we have a donation deck for shen lux where we'll be trying out unyielding spirit some more and plus we have new unyielding spirit in here as well now it's going to be fast speed instead of burst but i think it's still just fine as fast speed all right so this deck's all about attacking it's about leveling up misfortune leveling up quinn let's attack lots of times here we go let's go play five games over in ranked Ooh, what, what do we have for... Okay, good. We have our Quinn and our Misfortune. All right, good. Uh, sure do, Jorge. Let's see. Uh, Discord. Yay, that works. There you go. All right, Braum Elise. Could just be replacing Callista with Braum. Which sounds kind of cool. In, uh, you know, in a They Who Endure deck. I said the problem with Genevieve versus Cythria is that you have to play it before attack. Well, you could play Cythria. Talking about the six man Cythria, by the way. Where you could play Cythria at your, your opponent's turn and then open attack. Well, that's kind of true. The challenger is also huge. Don't forget about that challenger. Genevieve can also be removal. You can also just play... You can play Genevieve at the end of the opponent's turn. You don't get the plus one, plus one. But then you can open attack with the Genevieve and use removal. And then you get another attack step where you can use it as like removal again. With it being a 5-5, five five, you can you know eat something that's not a 5-5. Five five. You know, eat something that's smaller and then attack again and then trade with like you know then trade with the five drop uh. it can be basically a double removal spell and if you play a pre-combat the double removal spell that also anthems your team well it looks like we've had an exciting first game I think single combat's the best Demacia card. I could see that. I could see I could it's a pretty good argument for that. Especially with, with other nerfs. Used to be Grizzled Ranger. My shield is yours. Good morning, Raspin. I don't know, so like my opponent's like not doing anything, but they're taking up the time the whole time. So it's not like they're disconnected, right? Because they're disconnected, the game would just end, right? I don't know, maybe they are disconnected. <laughs> I 
Von Yip's always so happy whenever you do damage. So is the so Von Yip is yeah. So they're probably just disconnected. I'm not going to count that as a win. We're not we're not going to count this one. Um, so Von Yip is the professor, right? Like the card, Professor Von Yip. It, it's the cat. The cat's the professor, right? <laughs> one and a. Yeah, the cat's the professor. Okay. Uh, I don't like how we don't have anything to do turn one or turn two. Um, but I don't really want to mulligan any of these cards. Yeah, so that's why they make the the sub Percival is for Von Yip. And Von Yip's looking for the catastrophe. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. I need more Wow, what a one drop to get. Omen Hawk, what a one drop. Love ya. My duty's done. But do y'all think I was supposed to just use Ranger's Resolve to keep a 3 1 in play? Maybe with Bannerman, yeah, maybe with Bannerman, maybe I was supposed to. Yeah, ideally I'd want it to save misfortune. We feast tonight, Bars. Yeah, maybe with Bannerman I should have. All right, got the Great Horn Companion. Those should be attacks two and three for Misfortune. With the problem being if they have Sejuani. Alright, well, <clears throat> a 4 4 means it's no longer good to attack with the 2 2. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they have Make It Rain. Yeah, the cat is a little loud compared to the other pets. Uh, 
Okay. Doing that, be able to go into open attack again. Likely. Bow to no one. Uh. Man, Sejuani's so good. RV. Um, can't really save Misfortune. Yeah, yeah, I'm up. Stand and fight. So, Juani's too good. I could have had you last turn. Hmm. So I could put that on Grizzled Ranger, but Grizzled Ranger is just a 3 1. I probably want to put that on a Genevieve Elmhart. Um, so my plan was just to go Greenfang Warden, Vanguard, Bannerman. But now with that, I probably want to just go Genevieve Elmhart. Even though this is, you know, not a very good Elmhart. <clears throat> Sejuani's about to level up. Yeah, that's that's my plan. Is I want to put this on the the Genevieve though, because Genevieve has the Challenger, and the Scout gets to attack twice a turn. Um. All the It definitely hurts putting this down to 5 health instead of... We're putting it down to 3 health instead of 5. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't stop Fury of the North. Uh... Your conquest ends here! I and mean, basically if they have if they have anything to stop me, I'm gonna die. If they have anything to stop me, then I'm gonna die, but it's just how it is. Still a single combat from me. GG's. You know, they're another <clears throat> kind of similar deck. And they had a, a really, really solid hand. So, GG's. Alright, Misfortune Sejuani. Sort of strikes not for late game, but I'm gonna keep it. That's that's gonna be something that like we need for like Sejuani. Sejuani is such a good card. I mean, that was the card that single-handedly just killed me right there. 
with Sejuani that last game. So I guess I'm going to try to keep this Concerta's drag thing and maybe help me kill a Sejuani. This hand I have isn't very good against Mega Rain. Sure hope they don't have Mega Rain. Sure hope they don't have Mega Rain. Please no, please no, please no. Play like a misfortune or something. Just don't don't play Mega Rain. Okay. Fortune favors the bold. Just want to do this right away before I make a rain happens. That's basically why I'm doing that. <clears throat> yeah, not let them make a rain. That's how we do things in Bilgewater. GG's. I don't know. They, I guess they didn't want to trade their 2-drop and 3-drop for my 1-drop and 2-drop. While getting 2 attack triggers for Misfortune. And so they conceded. <clears throat> Maokai Hecarim. Green Fang Warden's like... As you've seen, I've kept that card <clears throat> plenty of times, but without Misfortune, it's not as good. So I want to get the Blinding Assault in play so I get two attacks with Misfortune next turn. Yeah, like, why, why would you not start with Misfortune in your opening hand? And, like, that's just the thing to do, right? So now one of these two can kill the higher gun. And the... The thing is, the the Valor is a lot more valuable because it has Scout. I'll just I'll just go for Valor still. I'll still keep like basically I can keep one of alive and have the other one kill the higher gun. Normally, like when I would get rid of the the card that has Vulnerable. Normally, we'd want to just if we have to get rid of one of the two, get rid of the one that has the Vulnerable. But because I already I have two other Fleet Feather Trackers in hand. That's convenient. Oh, fresh soil. Eh, not as convenient. <laughs> I did two attacks. You grow up so fast. Ooh. Love ya. Must 
So many birds. Birds and bullets. <laughs> uh, well, I, I figure if they would have had... Like, if they had Withering Whale, they would have just played Withering Whale, right? Technically, I want to do that just in case. <clears throat> so yeah, I guess it's possible that they have like ruination, I suppose. Not super likely. And we know the Isles will bloom again. Oh, that's true. That's true. I did have lethal if I didn't pull Monkey Idol. But again, they had five mana, so like they could have had removal. It's not like it, it's not like they were had zero mana and it was a hundred percent lethal. I mean. They already have lethal, anyway. They will pay for what they give you. All that matters now is the little ones. <laughs> so that war chef's pumping up the health of the misfortune. Yeah, they couldn't kill me, and then <clears throat> misfortune attack trigger. Um, and I guess they didn't want to try to draw for a life gain spell, like a grasp or withering whale. Birds versus saplings. Give the W to the birds because of the bullets, backing them up and killing all all them saplings. Mulligan, four, five, six. Keep two. Yeah, there's a one, two, three, four. <clears throat> Facing some more saplings, mayhaps. That egg. Did it move? All right, Misfortune, where you at? Ow. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like we may not have misfortune. It's all right. Lady Elise, She's got the day off. Vacation day. Ah, oh, I thought that was her. You know, I started seeing the gold border. in the gold border. I know, right? It's fine, you have his cutest thing. Alright, well, it's not misfortune on top. If I don't challenge Callista, you know, if I challenge like something else, they can have two things die, and then I challenge Callista with the Flea Feather Tracker first, but they could still use like a Glimpse Beyond and, and level up Callista. 
So unfortunately, I'm going to be doing the Callista first. Sorry, Valor. Well, that's pretty furious. Good. So they get leveled up. Callista. So I'm probably supposed to use Ranger's Resolve, but obviously we wanted to play Quinn this turn and then Genevieve Elmhart next turn, but I'm probably supposed to use Ranger's Resolve. I know block Callista because I mean it's gonna be a five four. It'll just kill my thing. Man, I'm down to seven. So I had to decide, like, if I wanted to play the Valor or not, I had to decide because it, I was either playing Quinn or Genevieve this turn. So it's either play play Valor plus Genevieve or play Quinn. With playing the Genevieve, we don't, you know, we're not leveling up our Quinn. Yeah, if they if they have like other I mean, there's a lot of cards that we can't beat right now. I mean, just a pretty strong they, hand they had there. Um, misfortune taking the the game off certainly hurts us. Well, that's obviously the first one. And then Please, I have connections! 
You have to get me out of here! Well, the good news is they're down to four. We got rid of a prankster. Or, sorry, the good news is we got rid of a prankster. But the bad news is we're down to four and they just drew two cards. The draw two cards is uh, worrisome. For sure. Uh, don't really need more Quins. Yeah, I guess I guess I could have done the four two to kill the. Yeah, I guess I didn't need to have Genevieve die, did I? But oh well, I did. But yeah, I could have had five two Genevieve still, and the, like basically I could have had five two Genevieve instead of this bird. Everyone's a All right, well five two Genevieve would have just died right here. Uh, last game, the birds beat the saplings. This game, the saplings. Are ahead of the birds. In Adorosa's name. Do not waver. Possible I should just save this for Quinn, to be honest. But we're gonna, I mean, I can't, I can, don't think I can wait around forever against a deck with like they who endure atrocity, that kind of stuff. Oh man. Man, I wanted just to go straight to attacks uh, with the scout, but misfortune. Uh, is that seven? Yeah, I still have to search the text and scouts. Because we could have lethal if they just play like one unit. I play this, they play one unit. If they have like no interaction. If they, all three cards in hand are just singular units. Singular blockers. Because then we can just go challenge, challenge with these two. That's nine damage plus the extra... Um, plus the extra one from Misfortune. So that's why I, you know, did doing that math real quick. So I decided to wait on the Misfortune. Oh, I mean, if they had Withering Well, they would have played it the first, you know, whenever I attacked the first time. They definitely don't have Withering Well. I'm just hoping no removal at all. Kind of seems like they have Atrocity. That's what it feels like. Yep. So they go to one. All right, we got an atrocity out of their hand. I hope they got the they get they got some random card with last breath. I hope it's the zero mana O one, the caustic thing that does one damage. <laughs> I hope that's the card they grabbed. Caustic cask. We're safe for now. 
Not the easiest card to pronounce. And we are three and one. Just lost that one game to Sejuani. Challenging my misfortune. Harvey from after barking so much. She's enjoying her little dog bed now with her pillow. She's like, I did a good job. I I protected the protected the house from the garbage truck that was like three roads down. It was just like the next street over. <clears throat> Alright, Von Yip, what are we doing in this game? Get some more birds. Cats like birds. My cat Hawkeye loved birds. Love staring out the window, meowing at the birds. We don't get a free kill. Um, I'm still gonna take the trade though. And we're paired against Sejuani again. I don't like Sejuani. I mean, obviously, I like playing Sejuani. I play Sejuani all the time. I don't like playing against Sejuani. All right, so most likely more make it rains. I really want to get the two attacks in. Uh, I hope this works. It's what, like a 25% chance of surviving? No, oh, okay, there we go. No, a one, two. Ugh. Hmm. Oh, they couldn't get a one drop that had one health. Uh, I suppose. Ugh. Begrudgingly. Love ya. I mean, what would what would be the health of single combat Navori? Isn't single combat a whole lot? more valuable than that one two but like what i mean that wouldn't really help that much would it Honor guide me. Cool, do not doubt. wow i love that trade Press on. love that trade Especially when I thought that that thing was just going to die to a third of a Mega Rain. So it definitely seems like they have like pilfered goods, probably. Gotta have something. It's like making them pause so much. Alright, we can Unyielding Spirit this turn. Oh, but now I want to play Queen. But I also want to just go straight to attack us because I said one. <laughs> I'm being silly. All right, uh, I'm going to attack. Uh, I like that. Yeah, you can definitely play two war chiefs, war chefs. <laughs> Sorry, two war chefs instead of the third reposed. <laughs> Sorry, you really chiefs, chiefs, and I started to say that, but yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely like going. Yeah, you want to go two war chefs, two repost. Perfectly happy with that.
And that's why I'm the captain. Yeah, this deck's just good. It is. Like, this is a good deck. But yeah, you want to play a second War Chefs instead of the third Repost? I'm, I'm all for that. R Repost is pretty expensive. It doesn't really need to be a three of. Um... But yeah, this deck's good. Genevieve, Elmhart, awesome. Um, attacking over and over and over again is good. When you're mulliganing with this deck, you know, look for your one and two mana cards and Misfortune. Basically, mulligan fours. Fours, fives, and sixes all the time, except for maybe... I kind of like keep Bannerman sometimes if, if we have, like, other early things to do before Bannerman. Because Bannerman's super powerful, but basically always mulligan... Always will go like the fives and sixes, and usually Grizzled Ranger. Always reposed. Um, but yeah, pretty, pretty good deck right here. Um, pretty fun to play to, you know. Like it, you know, I got forty minutes for the five games, and you know, you just get to attack a whole lot. Like attacking's fun. Like who who doesn't like attacking? Attacking's fun, and you get to do that quite a bit. And also, just all the challengers, you know, like you have all these birds, like the trackers, the blinding assaults to get some more challenging birds. Um, and then your quins bring some more challenging birds. So with all those challenging birds, you, you not only get to attack a lot, but then you also get to determine like how your opponent blocks. And that makes things even more fun. Uh, no, I would not play Badger. Like Green, Green Fae Warren's really good. Uh, this card, this card's definitely an underrated card. Uh, it's just, it's amazing with Misfortune. Like, you just want to be attacking multiple times a turn with Misfortune. And Green Fang Warren's a good, does a good job of that. You know, whether it is, um, like, maybe you have the attack tokens turn two and turn four. And so turn three, on their turn, you play Misfortune. Then you untap and you play Green Fang Warren. It has the barrier and you get to attack in and attack with it twice. Um, that kind of thing. Or, or sometimes, sometimes, like, you play against Zed. And your opponent plays turn three Zed, and they're attacking on turn three. You know how like that's really hard to deal with. Well, what if you just play a Gringfang Warden, and then boom, barrier. You can't you know like you get to block that kind of stuff. But I don't know it's a it's a good defensive thing too. You know like just basically any any big threat that they play, you can block it even though it's just a two two. Um, you know it's got that barrier, so it's good on it's good on your defensive turns also. Um, and all that kind of stuff. All right, so there we go. Uh, that's Scout Midrange. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Uh, and we're gonna mo move away from the Misfortune decks for a little bit now. I know we've played a bunch, you know, a couple of those yesterday, another one to start today, but uh, we're gonna be playing some new stuff. And up next, it's gonna be an Ionia deck with Braum and see how those work, uh, see how that works together. But anyway, thank you so much for watching some Scout Midrange and I'll see you for the next video.